thank you so much for showing interest in this video where I am going to do a review of the book of Bishop David Oyedepo. And, um, I, the title of the book is In Pursuit of Vision. And um, I want you to subscribe to our channel and um, share this video with your friends on social media. On uh, Solution TV, we bring you soul lifting and inspirational and revelation filled sermons teachings and um, even Christian drama. So this is the book review section of this TV channel and I believe you are going to enjoy it. Now, Dr. David Oedepo is one of the most prominent and most popular uh, Pentecostal pastor in Nigeria, in Africa and even all over the world. He is the president of Living Faith Church worldwide. Now, I have personally, I have enjoyed i have gained so much from his books I've gained so much from his books and um, i've read a lot of his books and i believe you are going to enjoy them too if you take a decision to read his books now he has written so many books so you can find them out online or you check the description to find out a link to their online bookstore and if you need help even in this regard you can also write a comment and we'll be glad to help you now, let me tell you the background of my getting in touch with this particular book titled In Pursuit of Vision. I was about starting out in my ministry and the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord said to me that I should take it easy, that I need to learn along the way. Now, I saw a revelation to that effect and um, I took a decision to go to the bookstore to find out a book on mini Christian ministry and then... Um, I stumbled upon one of the books of Bishop David Oedepo, Exploit in Ministry. I bought that book and what a blessing that book was to me. Now, after reading that book, I'm still going to do a review of that particular book. After reading that book, so many years after, I noticed I also got in touch with this particular book that I'm reviewing today, In Pursuit of Vision, In Pursuit of Vision, and it's filled with lots of revelations too practical revelations that you can follow you are a christian minister even if you are not in, involved in pulpit ministry now what is in pursuit of vision what is it all about it's, it, it, the subtitle to this book says exploring the virtues of divine guidance and one of the things that bishop Redebo taught very well in this particular book is about divine guidance yes he he defined vision he defined vision and he defined pursuit and he wrote a lot of things about the benefits and the importance of pursuing a vision that god has given to you but what he really um, said so much about is about divine guidance and from what I read in this book, you can't truly really pursue a vision without um, divine guidance. You can't really, without divine guidance. Now, I'm on the introduction section, Bishop David Rippo wrote that a discovery of vision and its pursuit is the gateway to the actualization of our glorious destiny in Christ. And let me read that again. A discovery of vision and its pursuit is not just a discovery. Its pursuit is also is the gateway to the actualization of our glorious destiny in Christ. Now, if you become a Christian, you want to actualize your glorious destiny. Bishop David Redepo wrote that you have to discover your vision, your God-given vision, and you must pursue it. You must what pursue it, and he said that will lead to you uh, actualizing your glorious destiny in the body of christ and um, he made us to understand the readers of this book to understand very clearly that if you don't embrace divine guidance you won't be able to pursue your god-given vision you will be able to actualize your glorious destiny so that brings us to the relevance and to the importance of divine guidance and he said so much about this he, he says so much about this in this book. And um, I, I, I want you to get this book and read it. 
and read it out now. One of the chapters of the book talks about how God leads. Fantastic chapters. Chapter on how God is practical explanation and scriptural based uh, principles. He shares scriptural based principles on how God leads. How God leads. Now, he also mentioned a lot of things about the benefits of you waiting upon the Lord before you take certain big decisions in your life. Said a lot of ministers, a lot of Christians have gone into a lot of troubles and problems because they never waited effectively on God to get a clear message from God. A clear message from God. So, pursuing your vision, you need divine guidance. You need to understand how God leads you. You need to understand what God is actually saying to you. What God is actually saying to you. So that is the, <clears throat> the summary of what this book is all about. I enjoyed this book. I read, I read, I've read it on so many occasions and I'm still going to read it all over again. Now, let me tell you something about this book that I enjoyed so much. Apart from how he practically, he practically defined vision, the pursuit of it, and how he practically explained how God leads. And you can find that in chapter 6, chapter 6 and 7 of this book. In chapter 7, he titled it, the chapter, he titled the chapter, The Virtues of Divine Corrections. You need to read this chapter, chapter 6 and chapters. It started in chapter 6. You need to read these chapters. Now, the man of God wrote a lot of things about some of the mistakes he had made. I was surprised. He, I was surprised with some of the things he wrote. He explained, he opened up everything. He opened up everything. Sometimes you won't be want to see these ministers as if they don't make mistakes. He said he had made a lot of mistakes too. He had made a lot of mistakes too. One, one thing that helped him is that he was making those mistakes with good art. And whenever God comes with the correction, he takes it and he acts on it. He gave a lot of so many practical examples. One of the examples that should interest you is the issue of utter. How the church got to utter. How the church got to utter. You know, utter is the is the international headquarter of the church and um, is where the 50,000 capacity auditorium is located. Now, they, they were moving from the main city, a main city in Lagos, to this particular bush. And somebody came to him and said, there is a place, a land you can buy. He said they followed the person with some other people. And when the person was taking him through the forest to that particular place he kept on he kept on telling that person who was leading them that how can you take us to this bush this can never be a place that god is taking us to he kept on saying that when they got to the land he said to them look you you are wrong for bringing us here let us go back and then the moment he tried to step out the lord spoke that this is the place this is the place that story really touched me that story really touched me. And um, we can know, we can know today that this, that altar, that place, that land is actually the place. Is actually the place. But the man of God was making a mistake. The man of God was making a mistake. But thank God for the heart to receive correction from God. The heart to follow God with every bit of his heart. And he was corrected and the story we can see the story today. You need to read so many examples he gave about so many mistakes he, he made, he has made in ministry. I want you to find out more about this book by Dr. David Oedepo in pursuit of vision. You can check the description to see uh, links where you can be able to buy this book. Thank you very much and God bless you. I want you to share this video i want you to share with your friends i want you to subscribe to our channel and you can also click the notification bell so that you can receive notifications whenever we uh, put out some of these videos on this channel at solution tv thank you very much and god bless you